Hello, what's up guys? I am back. Um, I unfortunately have COVID, uh, so I'm, I'm, uh, I've not been on the channel very much recently. Bob's has been holding down the fort, doing a fantastic job. Uh, but I, I, I'm back. I decided to make a few videos today. And uh, yeah, we're back. I'm, I'm feeling good, by the way. If anyone was interested, um, I, I feel fine. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I had a few days where I felt a little bit bad, but uh, I'm, I'm fine now. So today's video is going to be another darts rankings update. This is a video where we go through the world rankings as of right now and see what's changed who's gone up who's come down and today we'll be up to the semi-finals so if you do like this series and you want to follow along there will be another one um, after the final has finished so we can have a look at the the complete final rankings but we'll have a look and go through the different scenarios today as well just to see what could potentially happen and who could potentially move anymore and if it's even possible to move anymore this might be the this might be the the way that the rankings looks but anyway if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future then hit the like button Press the subscribe button as well if you want to stick up to date. If you want to stay up to date with um, with darts news and what's going on in the darts world, and turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss videos. You don't want to miss the news. You don't want to miss what's going on. So if you do enjoy this sort of stuff, make sure you do all those sort of things. Also, we're doing a big giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. So as soon as we hit that, one of you guys will be winning 1,000 pounds worth of darts equipment. So if you guys want to win a thousand pounds worth of darts equipment, why would you not? then hit the subscribe button go and tell as many of your friends as well and uh, we'll get we'll, we'll hit that goal a lot faster and then you guys can win your darts equipment a lot faster so yeah anyway let's have a look at what's going on thanks for watching the video let's get into it so we'll start off at the number one spot we have got going price out of the tournament lost last night to michael smith very very enjoyable darts game that was by the way going price hit a nine data he is still the world number one he cannot be caught either so he is he is safe at world number one no matter who wins the tournament from here Gerwin Price is going to stay the world number one, and uh, he cannot be caught, but he can be he can be closed in on. He can be closed in on. He's got a big gap at the moment of about well, nearly nearly um, well, just over four hundred thousand pounds. So he can't be caught, but Peter Wright could could start to edge his way closer towards him. Uh, Peter Wright. So he is world number two. He's not changed. Nothing's changed there. Michael Van Gerwen, world number three. Nothing's changed there. James Wade, world number four. Nothing has changed there. Right, we've got a few changes here. Gary Anson, Michael Smith. Uh, Gary Anson has come up one place to world number five. And Michael Smith has come up three places to world number six. So Michael Smith's on the climb. And then the players who lost last night, they were they were going price. We also had Merv King who lost in the quarters. He's come up four places to world number 17. Luke Humphreys lost in the quarterfinals but hasn't actually moved anywhere because of the way that the rankings works. Um, he's still at world number 19. And Callan Rids, he's come up six places this tournament to world number 30. And uh, yeah, he's, he's doing very well. So let's go through the possible scenarios of what could happen and let's see where their rankings would be. So let's go through the kind of like the rankings and stuff and the, the potential of what could happen in the next two days. So we'll start with Peter Wright. If he loses in the semi-finals, he will probably stay where he is. If he wins the semi-final and loses the final, he will probably stay where he is. If he wins the final, he will, he will definitely be staying where he is. Um, so James Wade, he's currently at world number four. Uh, if James Wade wins his next match, so if James James Wade beats Michael Smith, then we will see Michael Van Gerwen move down to world number four and James Wade move up to world number three. So we'll see them two switch over. Should James Wade go on and win the tournament, we will see James Wade move up into that number two spot. So James Wade, one win will put him to number three, two wins will put him to number two. So we could potentially see James Wade at the world number two spot by the end of the tournament. He's probably the least favorite to win from here, but he is James Wade. He does James Wade things and you can't write James Wade off. Um, so that is how it works out of James Wade. Gary Anderson. So if Gary Anderson wins his next match, he can potentially go above James Wade should James Wade lose. And if he wins the final, then he could potentially go above Peter Wright as well. And uh, if he does go above and if he does win the final, that will guarantee him, him second spot. So J Gary Anderson, if he wins the tournament, Michael Van Gogh goes down to fourth. James Wade goes down to fifth. And Peter Wright goes down to third. Gary Anderson will go into second place. Um, but anything else, really, he can potentially go above James Wade with a win as long as James Wade loses. That's how that one works. And then Michael Smith sat in number six spot at the moment. So if Michael Smith wins his semi-final, he will go up to the world number five spot, providing that Gary Anderson loses to Peter Wright. But if Gary Anderson beats Peter Wright, then he will just stay in front of him. But if Michael Smith can go on and win the tournament, then we could potentially 
potentially see Michael Smith go into the number two spot. But if, if, the, if the final was Michael Smith versus Peter Wright, then we'll be looking at Michael Smith in the third spot because Peter Wright would have done enough to keep his nose in front of Michael Smith. And that is probably the favourite outcome, I reckon. I think Michael Smith playing Peter Wright in the final is probably the most likely. It's probably the one that the bookies are going to be backing the most. It's the one that I'm most, ex most expecting to see. Um, but yeah, that is the update guys. If you did enjoy this video, then thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget, 50,000 subscribers. One of you guys are winning a thousand pounds worth of darts equipment. So if you guys want to want to enter that, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Go and watch a few of my other videos if you did enjoy this. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your rest of your day. Enjoy the semi-finals tonight. Bob's will be with you tonight and tomorrow night doing all the, all the updates and stuff. So if you want to go and watch that, stick around. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you at 7.30 tonight. Goodbye.